NFC Championship game. We got Niners, Eagles. Big part of sports betting is knowing when to bet or what they call timing the market, right? I think we might see Philly move to minus three here at some point closer to game day. Philly all year long has been receiving late game day money. So if you do like San Fran, it might be worth waiting to see if you can get plus three. Now, I already bet Philly minus two and a half. I don't think this current line is fully capturing just how good this Eagles team is when at full strength like they are now. Uh, Jalen Hurts, he's 14-1 and one straight up this season. His only loss is to Washington in a game where he had a tip ball INT. He had two receivers lose fumbles, one of them being in the red zone. So somewhat of a fluky loss there. Now, San Fran hasn't faced many mobile quarterbacks this season or QBs that I'd consider dual threats. When they did, they did struggle, and actually their only losses this season were against what I'd consider mobile QBs with you know, Justin Fields, Marcus Mariota, Russell Wilson, kinda, and then Patrick Mahomes. Uh, the numbers reflect this as well. San Fran's defense ranks 26 in success rate versus scrambling quarterbacks. San Fran's defense, league average, and a few metrics I think are important. They rank 15th in opponent third down conversion percentage, 18th in opponent red zone touchdown percentage, not terrible, but when you adjust for some of the opponent's offenses they face, it looks a lot worse. And then when you look at the Eagles' offense, those are areas they're the strongest at. Eagles with Hurts at QB are the best in the league in NFL red zone touchdown scoring percentage. Other side of the ball, I think the Eagles have an advantage defensively too. It's going to be a big step up for Brock Purdy in opponent defensive strength. Eagles rank number one in opponent yards per play, number one in sacks, number one in yards allowed per pass attempt. Uh, last week was really the 49ers offense first real test versus a solid pass rushing team and you know Purdy kind of looked average. Eagles have the second highest pressure rate without blitzing. I think we see Purdy struggle in a hostile environment making only his third road start. In his first two road starts they're against below league average defenses and a lot of what Purdy's success comes from is like the dynamic playmakers around him. He gets in the ball in space and they kind of just do their thing. Eagles are really good tacklers. They don't allow much separation. And, you know, San Fran has this reputation of the running game being their pathway to success. But in the last two playoff games, it's been their passing that's moved their offense. Um, they have a negative 1.7 rush EPA the last two games. I think in order to keep pace with the Eagles here, they're going to need Purdy. And I don't really trust him. Give me the Eagles here. Uh, and make sure to be on the lookout for my NFC game breakdown. Uh, my AFC game breakdown videos and some of my player props um, I like this weekend. Good luck with your bets this weekend.